Okay, hello. I hope now can you hear me, yeah? Okay, so I simply share my screen and try to discuss about this. Okay, so now can you see my screen? Yeah? Okay, so let's go. Okay, so basically, um, in this tutorial, I will try to discuss about that man candle trend line and trend analysis about the long term trend. How we can easily calculate that <coughs> man candle analysis using the Google Artigin platform using the man candle. Okay, okay, so let's go. So basically, in this time, we just only focus the one class about that um, vegetation. Okay, only for the vegetation in this time here, including all of the trees, all of the forest, all of the shrubland, all of things will be come in here. And all of those things we can just take as the vegetation. Okay, and in this time, we are also using here the indices and also try to use here the long term data for the vegetation and then make this trend about that higher the increasingly strongly increase the vegetation or higher the uh, strongly decrease the vegetation so basically first of all uh, if i want to simply show you the function about this so this function we are using in here so this function called the e reducer candles correlation so basically this function create a reducer that compute the candles tau b rank correlation okay and in this tau value indicate an increasing trend okay positive value if this value is the positive after applying this for a uh, function if i got the pixel value as a positive it means that uh, it indicates an increasing trend a okay, positive value and negative value indicate the decreasing trend okay positive value, negative value indicate the dis uh, decreasing the trend okay so you can get the all of the information about this from this link okay so in this time we are using this uh, for uh, operation using this function in here so here you can see this is the code in this code here we can find out the ndvi okay so in this time if you want you can create the ndvi from the land set that is the no problem if you want you can calculate it the ndvi from the sentinel there is the no problem if you want you can use the modis that is the no problem all of those things we are using the same approach for applying the man candle correlation okay so in this time if you want to check suppose here you can see first of all i simply import the image collection about that ndvi modis data set okay and then all of the things i simply get here the summary qa basically this summary qa it provide you the quality pixel value when I want to apply this summary QA, if you want to check the band about that summary QA band, mainly it provides the quality pixel band value. You can see the it uh, quality reliability of VI pixel value it provides you. Okay, so I simply set this QA and set equal to zero and update max and clip with my geometry. After that, I simply select my time period. Okay, so I simply use there this time period, such as you can see. It will be start from the 2000 because this data set will be available from the 2000 so i put here this 2000 to 2020 and now you can use your own uh, sequence suppose you want to put here this from um, may to december if, in this time period you want to observe what is the condition of the vegetation okay between this time period of 2002 to the 2002 2020 okay or growing season any time period you can put this time period or rainy season or summer season what is the condition of the NDVA over a period of time? We can check it. So it can it will be start from the May to December. Okay. After that, we can simply take the monthly image collection. Okay. So this uh, code for the monthly image collection it created the monthly image collection. After that, we can simply use here this the print this monthly image collection. So here we can get all of the image collection. You can see for the monthly image collection, we can get the total monthly image collection for the twenty one. 
all of this monthly image collection you can get in here from the NDVI and only for the one band for the NDVI okay and we can get this past image is I can say that date we can get all of the pixel value okay all of this we can get in here monthly and do for the same thing also yearly okay also do for the yearly okay so now I want to make the trend analysis by yearly data set okay by yearly data set we just try to find out the trend analysis so that's why I can simply use at the NDVI trend take a variable name and call this yearly because it is stored all of those yearly data set you can see total 20 year, 20, 21 years okay 21 years data set we can get in here 21 data set we can get in here so as the 2000 from also you can see the last time period is that 2020 so all of this year i want to use in here and from this collection i want to just find out that candle correlation okay after applying the candle correlation i want to check the value about that basically this value will be negative one to positive one and negative will identify the decreasing the vegetation and positive will identify the increasing the vegetation if you want to check the value suppose in a speaker tab and click on the any types of uh, suppose this pixel will i want to check about this test and then check we can get the negative value if you want to check it we can get the negative you can see for the ndvi tau value we can get the negative okay for if it means that for this region is strongly decreasing the vegetation over a period of time suppose you want to check the for the vegetation click on here now we can get the positive value it means that it will be strongly increasing the vegetation over a period of time okay so we can get the result look like that you can see so now further analysis if you want to calculate the area suppose how much area will be increasing increasing or decreasing over a period of time then we have to uh, just extract the tp images from here so just extract the tp images so for that i also write the code for the extracting about this tp images so okay in this time we don't need to calculate the sin okay just we try to find out only for this uh main candle train analysis about that so simply paste here yes. okay then i simply put this it's in the ndvi print then click to the run so now it will be exported and we can easily import it in the ArcMap software or QZ software for making the further analysis or calculation of the area. It working also you can see sin slope what is the sin slope so mainly the sin slope uh, it has the two input reducer that compute the sin slope estimator the inputs are the expected to be x data followed by y data in return two double values the estimate the solve and and the offset okay so solve and offset when you want to calculate then also using here the sin solve function so in this time we are not focusing on this part we just try to focus the trend again what is the trend about this tau value when it will be high or low we can get this result in here okay so this is our classification we can get like that uh increase and highly increase the vegetation and highly decreasing the vegetation over a period of time or long time ndvi analysis ndvi means that vegetation in this time we try to discuss about that
Okay. And now using the same method, suppose you want to identify the parallel learning index. You want to identify the water index. You want to identify for that um, build up index. Okay. So build up index a BI. So you can just simply make the collection about the BI. You want to make the water index, what, uh, where the water is increasing or decreasing over a period of time, then you need to work with the NDWI. Okay. You want to work for that, suppose, um, build up index. Then when, when you want to identify what the build up area is, the decreasing or increasing, then you need to work with for the BI index or build up index. So this type of index we use and then make this analysis for the man candle test and also identify where the it's high and where there is the low special distribution about the changing okay over a period of time using the using this uh, man candle reducer okay so okay yeah it also produce the graph suppose from this graph we can also identify when it will be high when it will be low we can easily identify between this time period suppose I want to create this graph about that. So first of all, I simply create this. Look okay, like suppose. Okay, so I simply use the UI dot chart dot image dot this and put all of the argument. First of all, image collection. Make a list. image collection is that I simply copy okay so 